Business reports inside of Seller Central, they got an upgrade. I'll tell you all about it. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. So just to get to the screen, you're gonna go into Seller Central, put your cursor on reports, go to business reports. And on the left-hand side, you can click on various different reports. The one I'm gonna be showcasing today is the detail page sales and traffic report right under by ASIN. This is my actual sales data on my own account called Mobster. And on the right-hand side, this will be uh, hidden by default, this button right over here. But if you click this button, you now have the ability to come in and show and hide fields. So if you wanted to hide those pesky parent ASINs and only show the child ASIN, boom, there you go. Don't care about SKUs? Poof, they're gone. <laughs> Obviously, we want to keep that one. Sessions total, percentage, page views, all of these features can now be hidden or added to make it easier. You're curious how your sessions are doing mobile versus browser? I didn't even actually know they tracked this until I saw this today, but here you go. It looks like significantly on about a 2.3 to 1.5 ratio, whatever math that ends up being, what is that? 2.3 divided by 1.5, what is that? Google, tell me. That is a one to one and a half ratio. Um, so for every person looking at it on a website, there's one and a half of them looking on a mobile app, according to this. And uh, that's kind of interesting to see what that looks like. So how does our conversion rate do? How does all that do? So we can see browser versus mobile view, which I didn't even know was possible until 30 seconds ago. So then in here, we've got our sessions. What about session percentage mobile app versus browser? Well, there's those percentages hide those fields. Probably not something I'm gonna look at more than once a quarter. Page views, mobile versus browser. So do we get more page views when somebody's on the computer? That's what I would suspect. Once they leave on a mobile, they are gone, gone. Let's see where that ends up being. Uh, page views mobile right here, one at 1,800. Page views on the mobile, okay, that was browser. I'm, I'm backwards here. 3,000 on mobile, 1,800 on browser. So a three to 1.8 ratio, how does that compare to our other ratio? Three divided by 1.8, that is 1.6. So it looks like um, a little bit more coming in on mobile, actually looking at more pages. I would not have expected that. So that's, that's an interesting change there. Uh, that 1.5 bumps to 1.66. So that's cool. More people look at more of the, the same pages of content and come back on a mobile. I did not expect that. Thought once they were on mobile, they would just bounce. All right, what do we got here? Page views percentage mobile app versus browser. Kind of kind of did that. So on the right hand side, oh my gosh, nobody cares about B2B. Look how small. Look, I mean, it's like 40 bucks there, $20 there. Let's just get rid of B2B. Nobody ever cares about that. Unit session percentage B2B, boom, you're gone. B2B, gone. Gone, B2B. Now, look how much easier my report is to, to see. It's almost entirely on one screen now. What a nice. Uh, column uh, UI tweak from Seller Central. Usually, I get on my show and say, oh my gosh, what a terrible change. This is one of those times where I'm like, hmm, I really like this change. In fact, I learned something new that didn't even exist. Uh, mobile versus uh, you know, desktop comparison. So that's really cool. Is there a particular field that we won't care about more than others that we can still remove here? I'd say these are the most important top line numbers that tells us everything we need to know. Um, one of the ways that I use this report is I'll take the number of units. So let's take the uh, the macho box here. That's the SKU right there. And we have sold 149 of these in the last 30 days. So how do you do your restocking? Um, there is no good restocking technology on the market right now because uh, none of them can factor in IPI restock limits and quite frankly, the supply chain just sucking. So what I tend to do is I'll buy a year supply of inventory, I'll store it at a warehouse or a 3PL, and then I'll funnel it into Amazon. One of the ways I do that, I look at the Asian report and I say, cool, I sold 149 of these the last 30 days, assuming no seasonality, let's times that by two, round that up to 300, and then take a look at the SKU. We go over to my inventory page, I've got 308 of them in stock, which means I have a 60 day supply and I do not need to ship anymore. I create shipping alerts inside of Seller Central to tell me when I'm under a six week threshold and then I will send in a 30 day supply. So in theory, it takes up to 10 or 14 days for that to check in. By the time that happens, 
my new 30 days checks in, gets me up to a 60 day supply, which is right where I wanna be. And then every uh, two weeks to four weeks, I look at my shipping alerts, I ship more in and repeat the process. So one of the easiest ways you can take order items, times it by two, figure out how much do you need to store at Amazon at any given point, and divide and conquer and minus out what you're currently there. So some really cool reports, uh, customization, business reports, and for all I know, maybe this has been around for a while and I'm the first, you know, just barely seeing it for the first time. But let me know, have you seen the new columns? Is there a particular column that you think should be included in the report or removed? Add it in the comments. Let's see what everybody says in the community. My name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of my Amazon guy.